y'all. This video is going to be as short as possible because I am tired with a capital T. But I had to get this video out to you guys. So, real quick before we dive into this budget, we will be doing March a little different. I am trying to make my videos that I post on YouTube from now on 10 minutes or shorter. So, anything over 10 minutes, I'm not trying to do it. Um, just because I have a lot going on. And if you like me, you ADHD. And after a certain amount of time, if it ain't just caught your attention, you're going to click off. So, we're going to be doing March very, very differently. We're going to do a one and done. I'm going to give you the whole budget breakdown of the month. What the bills are, what the expenses are, what the savings are. And that's how we're going to do March. But for right now, we got it in February how we started. So... Y'all have the second paycheck. I mean, the first paycheck. Now we got to give you the second one. Um, we're going to do the budget closeout on this as well. I'm going to still do the budget closeout in March. Um, but just like the two separate paycheck videos, we're going to do it all in one. Just because my it, the income doesn't change. It stays the same. It never changes. It's always what it is. <sighs> okay, so now the bills might change. But the income, no. Second bi-weekly paycheck for February. You're going to see it here. You guys know I always put it here so you guys can see it as well as me reading it off. I just feel like I need to bring y'all. Hold on. Yeah, I like that. Because I want y'all to see my pretty little flowers. <laughs> so, the second bi-weekly paycheck for February, as you can see, the paycheck was $1,678 dollars. The expenses were $1,085. We saved $593. So the rent was $370 and that was a rollover for March. So we're taking that and bringing that over to March. Afterpay was $100. Cash out $46. Myself, I paid myself $423. Um, vacation was $75. Household was $50. Cable was $71. Personal savings was 300 Rainy day was 100 Christmas was 25 Birthday gifts because I have... I'm starting to buy birthday gifts now. And that's kind of why I paid myself so much too. Because I am going to be buy, using some of my money to buy birthday gifts as well. But I have four birthdays coming up. I have two daughters to buy for for their birthday. Uh, one we're probably just going to send cash. Because she's in another city. So we'll probably just send cash. Um, another daughter has pretty much showed us what she wants for her birthday. So I'm going to get her that. And then my husband's birthday. And then my mother-in-law's birthday. So all these birthdays are in March, April. And I'm not a last minute person. I don't like to procrastinate and wait for the last minute to do things. So I start buying. I have started buying way in, um, yeah, the beginning of February. I started buying birthday gifts. So, the budget closed out. So, the household was, um, we say $50 this month. That's still in the account. That's probably going to roll over to next month. If I don't use it for anything household-wise, I think I may use $25 of that. But if I don't do that, then it's just going to go to um, the car fund. I'm just going to roll it over to the car fund. Um, our rainy day. Oh, and that's another thing. We're incorporating a car fund in March. Um, the rainy day fund is $448 altogether. The Christmas fund went to $250. Our personal savings for the end of February is $1,688. And our car fund is $3,500. Um, that was basically taking our taxes, some of our tax money, and putting it towards that. We are looking to purchase another car, so we are in saving mode when it comes to that. Um, what I'm thinking I'm going to do in March, instead of paying so much into the... I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know. And that's a good thing about um, budgeting and... Um, trying to figure it out because there's no wrong or right way to budget you budget according to your household and your household's needs so i'm not sure how i'm gonna break this down 
I think I'm going to half and half my personal savings. So I think I'm only going to start paying my personal savings $150 or $183 and put the remaining $100 in the car fund. I haven't decided yet. I don't want to stop the rainy day fund because I do want to get that over to $1,000. Um, I don't want to stop the Christmas fund because that's what I'm going to use to buy the Christmas gifts. And the household, like I said, whatever we don't use within that month is typically going to go into the car fund. So um, the goal is to save at least $10,000 by the end, of the end of the year to get a car. Um, let's see. Rollover money is nothing. Debt paid off is $465. So, like I said, March is going to be a little different. I'm still trying to figure out how I want to incorporate the savings um, for the car in there. I'm not sure. I am going to probably discuss that with my husband tonight so we can decide how we want to maneuver and move on that because I'm really not sure. So, all right. Um, Yeah. I'm looking forward to bringing the new way of doing things for March. Like I said, I want it simple. Budgeting and breaking down a budget shouldn't be complicated. It shouldn't be hard. It shouldn't be long. It should. It just should not take forever. It's you running numbers and presenting those numbers to um, you guys. So that should take no more than 10 minutes. And my budget is pretty simple. My budget rarely ever changes. If it does change, it's because I've incorporated something like this month and next month birthday gifts. Or, um, yeah, that's pretty much like it's or I may uh, decide that I want to for a certain month splurge on some concert tickets or an event or something. So that's the only time my budget really changes. For the most part, it stays the same. So we're going to keep it simple for you guys simple for me um so i don't have to because y'all it's time consuming i swear it is i love bringing you guys the budget because i feel like we're helping each other and i love how you guys give me feedback but i also want to be able to i don't want to just give you a long drawn out video for nothing i don't feel like um it's going to take all that if i just present you guys with the numbers let you know what the game plan is for that month and show you how I'm how I'm thinking about doing things. Then it shouldn't be that complicated. Y'all gave up my nails. I gave them up, y'all. It was hard. Um, I am gonna be doing my own nails at home for a while. Um, I don't know about my feet yet. I'm gonna try to do my feet, y'all. I ain't gonna lie, cause I like the thing about my feet is gel polish. When I do my gel, when I take my go to the um, nail shop. This gel polish, I get my feet done every two months. Like, literally every two months. Because the gel polish lasts that long. And it looks still look good. It's still like, after the second month, it still looks like my feet haven't been, you know, it looks good. So, we are now going into the second month. So, I'm thinking that by the end of, or the middle of March, I'm going to be getting them done. So, yeah. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to think smart, spend smarter, have fun planning it all out. Also, Audrey is still on task with her saving. Hubby has jumped on the bandwagon with his saving. Um, like I said, I am going to talk to him today about how we're going to do this car fund, how he wants to do that, and we're going we're gonna to get this because it's important and it's a goal that we need to reach. So, I'm going to get out of here and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.